South Korean researchers say they've been able to measure signals in the brains of mice that show that the stress of losing something is greater than the reward felt in first getting it. The technology they used to read signals from specific parts of the brain could help treat illnesses like depression and schizophrenia. Our Kim chung ah has more. What's more difficult, trying to obtain something new or protecting what you already have? According to an experiment conducted on mice, trying to keep hold of something is harder. Two mice were given a piece of food. Instantly, they began to fight for it and their brain signals became 1.2 times more active. Eventually, one mouse gets hold of the food, and while the brain signal of the mouse that wasn't successful remained the same, the brain signals of the mouse that won were twice as intense. Scientists say these findings backed up their initial theories. We inserted a brain chip into the medial frontal lobe, which is known to be related to social behavior. Since it was confirmed numerically through objective changes in brain signals, we have been able to prove what was only estimated before. This experiment uses a miniature wireless brain signal measurement system. Signals for each part of the brain can be measured precisely. With a weight of 3.4 grams and the size of a finger, it poses no major physical restrictions to the mice. The brain of a mouse and that of a human have a lot in common, especially when it comes to instinct and simple actions and functions. We hope that this can be applied to humans in the not-too-distant future. The human brain is more complex and so more research is needed. But more data on what parts of the brain need to be stimulated can potentially help with finding treatments for brain-related diseases. The research team plans to expand the application of the sensor to various social studies so that it can be used when treating illnesses like depression and schizophrenia. Kim Chang-ah, Arirang News.